and welcome to what may be the last video of this journey. We achieve one of the strongest forms and fight in a last man standing tournament against the strongest fighters from across the 12 universes of Dragon Ball to see who will rise at the end and stand at the top of them all. I hope you'll enjoy this video and let's get started. In the last video I mentioned that I think that the gravity device is stronger than the hyperbolic chamber but I didn't know how to properly farm TP with it as I don't want to blow up my spaceship that took a couple of hours so I came up with the brilliant idea to make a tower in the hyperbolic chamber and place the gravity device on top of it and just like that I got a debuff of a bit over 5 million and I was able to gather 55 million TP that I used to almost max out spirit. After that I slept through the night, I grabbed some food and sensor beans and asked Quest to teleport me to the Null Realm. I had a visit at Zeno's Palace but as it turns out it's only decoration. I went back to the arena and the Universe Survive Saga could start with the first fight being against Basil. Followed by Lavender and Bergamo. They were no threat as my Kaioken did more damage to me than them. But as I had to fight Topo I got a bit frightened. But with a bit of flying around I was able to defeat him with a Kamehameha. With that the Xeno Expo ended and I went to Earth. I had to spar with Gohan and Krillin so I showed them the Super Saiyan Blue evolution form. As this was our last fight on the overworld, I had a look at the destroyed planes biome and decided to destroy it a bit more with a spirit bomb, which was really underwhelming. I teleported back to the Null Realm and the real tournament could start. The first fight was against the three puppies and they managed to push me down from the platform and to my surprise they couldn't fly across the border and I had to restart the fight, this time facing in the other direction so they wouldn't push me off again. They were a good bit stronger and managed to damage my armor so much that it had the damaged look. After that I had to face the two female Saiyans from Universe 6, Alifla and Cap. And even though they were just two and not three, they managed to push me back. But they hadn't had enough. After that I had to refight Colifer alone but transformed into a Super Saiyan, making her an even stronger opponent. After that fight I checked my armor to see if it would break in the next fight, but it didn't seem like it, so I started the fight against Kale in her legendary Super Saiyan form and for the first time entered the sign Ultra Instinct. I had to stay under 60% of my health so I carefully healed myself before beating Prien for disrespecting my boy Krillin. After that I wanted a bigger challenge and only used Super Saiyan 2 for the next fight against Dispo. 
and I would say it went pretty okay. But next on the line was Topo, so I turned into Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10. After that fight, I had to face Jiren for the first time, and slowly but surely understood how to use the Ultra Instinct. After fending off Jiren, Kale and Kalifa fused together to Kefla. And after beating their base form, they turned into Super Saiyan and I must say, as easy as this may seem, this was the most challenging fight I had to that point. Next up would be Topo in his God of Destruction form. You may have noticed the bar that is filling in the middle of the screen. Once it is full, I will suffer from the pain effect debuffing me a lot, so I wanted to get as far as possible before the bar reached its maximum. I was scared to die in this fight, but with some smart movement I was able to defeat him. Now I had to wait 20 minutes for the pain effect to go away, so I gathered some materials and started building Trunks Time Machine, which took more than double the time, but I'm really happy with the outcome. After that I had a last look at the base and went to Wiz again. He teleported me to the Null Realm and I was determined to finish the saga in this go. I turned it to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution to get some damage from Jiren and he was real close to killing me but I somehow managed to survive. I started the fight against Unleashed Jiren. And thanks to the risky maneuver from before, I was finally able to transform into the Mastered Ultra Instinct. With this new power, I was able to defeat Jiren and win the Universe Survive Saga. 
But as some of you know, this wasn't the end of it. I switched my outfit and used the nature's compass to find the closest snowy biome. To my surprise, I had to fight Vegeta, who fought very well, even in his base form. And as he died, he said, let's see if you can handle me at my full power. So I thought the next fight would be against Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, but nope, just base form Goku, who was pretty tough as well. After defeating Goku, I finally faced Broly, the strongest enemy in this mod. Even in his base form, he did decent damage, so I decided to not use the Kaioken anymore and fight his buff form in Sun UI. He was able to land some hits and with that I was able to go into the Master UI. I felt very confident that I would beat Broly in his Super Saiyan form with ease and I did. Now came the last fight of the mod, Broly in the legendary Super Saiyan form. The only thing I could do is hope he wouldn't land a lucky combo and make sure to eat a sensor beam when needed. As the day ended, I defeated Broly and with that, we come to the end of this long journey. That was it with this video. We finally come to an end of this long journey, but fear not, there's more to come. I will start a little Elden Ring series as preparation for the Shadow of Urtry DLC and try some different builds in the Dragon Block C mod as well. If you liked the video and the series, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below Maybe you have some interesting challenges or build ideas for the next Dragon Block C mod or other games I can play. We will see and I hope to see you in the next one. Dear Tarnished.